No, you have not died, nor is this heaven. This is a simple green screen background that I just chose. The video that I'm responding to, on the other hand, is full of pure shit and a match made in heaven of massive amount of stupid. But before I go into this video, a little backstory. I have voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand. They so basically, this is a story right here. I wanted to be a part of the ancient overlords, or at least talk to the likes of Skeptor and Goodfella, but I guess I'm nothing unique yet. So I guess I can't be a special guest speaker in the ancient overlords. However, while looking on YouTube, I came across this video and showed it to Skeptor. To my surprise, Skeptor actually showed the video and everyone added their input in the video. I later showed this video to a guy named Doc Thompson. I don't really know much about him, however he was mentioned in the video by showing his tweet. He retweeted and joked a bit. Now I'm giving out my two cents on this before anybody else on YouTube does. And seeing that Mother Day is coming up, it's only fair to make this video in this format so that way I can make the mothers who watch this video feel like they're watching something entertaining rather than some kid on the internet who just got on a computer and start talking a lot of shit. That being said, let's get to with the Mother's Day special video response. Are you a feminist? No, but I am an egalitarianist, but I have the feeling that's just not going to be enough because in order to really support equality, you have to be a fucking feminist. We'll show you how to really spot one. Well, this picture right here is pretty much a good example on how to spot a feminist. So the hashtag how to spot a feminist has been simmering on social media for some time, but a radio talk show host really kicked it into high gear recently when he tweeted this. That is in fact the guy that I'm talking about. And like I said before, I sent him this video so he can get a good laugh out of it. And he even tweeted me. This is his tweet. Now, I do hope that Doc Thompson do in fact get to talk to the ancient overlords because it would be very interesting. If anyone wants to see that, I suggest you tweet both the ancient overlords and Doc Thompson. Which unfortunately prompted a bunch of anti-feminist, ignorant, misogynist trolls to hijack the hashtag. Okay, three things. One, the hashtag is not owned by feminists. Anyone can use that hashtag. Even the majority of people who uses that hashtag is in fact anti-feminist. It doesn't mean that feminists can't use that hashtag. Second, the majority of people who are making these tweets are not trolls on the internet. These people had enough with feminism and uses this hashtag to spot a feminist with facts. Such as, you know, you're dealing with a feminist when she complains about the debunk wage gap myth, or how women are being objectified in media, or how she refuses to debate or defend her ideas and instead relies on big hairy white knights to do their dirty work. I'm looking at you, Andrew Norton. And finally, three, these people are not fucking misogynists. Hell, some of the tweets are made by women. In fact, if you take a screenshot of their video, you will see a tweet made by Women Against Feminism, a movement that contains women who are standing up against the hypocrisy of feminism. The funny thing is that feminists and social justice warriors are so far in denial that women are against feminism that they're willing to call any female account a sock account. Not cool internet, not cool. But then a fierce feminist community of men and women decided to take it back. Everyone prepare for some painful fucking memories. And we're joining in. So here's some pop culture supported pro tips for how to really spot a feminist. You gotta love this tweet right here. It's so simple, yet so stupid. You want equality? Yes? Gotcha. This is literally what every feminist does in order to justify feminism. It's all about equality because our dictionary says so. They believe in equality between men and women. Let the UN Women Goodwill Ambassador and He For She campaign champion Emma Watson, aka Hermione, break it down for you. For the record, feminism by definition is the belief that men and women should have equal rights and opportunities. Which her video can be summed up as this. Men, we need you to smash the patriarchy for us. Which is why a real feminist understands that this is not just a women's issue. Back to you, Emma. Men, gender equality is your issue too. And she handed out this invitation towards men in order to join feminism. Even though there's nothing stopping men from joining feminism. Except for maybe the amount of, oh geez, I don't know, hypocritical ideologies that feminists love to bring up.
Enter Joseph Gordon-Levitt. He knows feminism means letting everyone live their truth. JGL explains to Ellen DeGeneres. I do call myself a feminist. Yeah. And what a pussify piece of shit this man is. Absolutely, sure. Yeah. Good for it's you. It's just like, it's worth paying attention to the roles that are sort of dictated to us. That nasty gender roles that apparently the majority of people choose to live this way anyway. And it's an interesting side note that no feminist will ever complain of how there's a lack of women in jobs such as garbage men, sewage workers, or miners. Not a single one. It's almost as if these people would complain about gender equality if it benefits women. Yeah. And to realize that we don't have to fit into those roles. They're strong. Zoe Saldana told Queen Latifah that women are built to be both beautiful and badass. There's also a strength that's part right. of our, our composition. Right. We're just, um, we're not encouraged to ignite it. What's stopping you? What, the evil patriarchy man and his psychic sexist boy? Mm -hmm. We're not encouraged to access it and to let it shine because it intimidates men. Holy fuck, is this wrong? They celebrate their bodies. Just watch Abby from Broad City, which always dishes out some raunchy and raw feminism, take her nudity to the edge of glory. And they celebrate diversity too. Is that what you call diversity? Only having one black man in your group? Hmm, not very diversitive. Alana, Abby's partner in freaky feminist crime on Broad City, knows what's up. This comment makes me want to eat a bowl of nails without any milk. They use humor to highlight the gender gap. The queen of the funny feminist skit, Amy Schumer, hired a boy band to put our culture's confusing beauty standards on blast. Oh, the stupid it burns! Great, the green screen I'm using just self-destructed. Oh, well, I've still got this one. And, ugh, this parody. It just, it just hurts. It, it just fucking hurts. It, it fucking burns. But they're serious about being the boss. No. 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 Which is why Beyonce, Jennifer Garner, and more ladies who run the world asked us to take this word out of our vocab. Wait, wait a minute. These women run the world, but yet they can't handle a simple word, and that word is bossy? Yeah. If you're gonna run the world, then please... Do not get offended when someone calls you bossy. I'm not bossy. I'm the boss. They aren't trying to be likable, they're trying to be real. Oh, trust me when I say this, they are far from likable. Girls Lena Dunham takes us to school. There's also the fact that we have an essential belief that being complex, annoying, and, uh, you know, multifaceted is the right of women on television. They care. Lena lets it out. But the fact is that, is that I and we do care deeply about politics and do care deeply about things that are happening in the United States right now, you know, particularly to women, particularly to women of color. Preach, girl. Oh, yeah. I totally believe you when you say you care. Totally fucking believe you. Tell us how you spot a feminist and tag all your proud feminist friends. Well, if you're dealing with someone who has no real arguments like Jenny McDermott, then chances are you're dealing with a feminist. And I can't wait for the likes of Sargon of Akkad or Teal Deer to sink their teeth in into this particular video because by God, this needs to be shown. So, this is a special thanks to uh, Doc Thompson for um, somehow making this video possible. And along with Sarg uh, not Sargon, Skeptor, uh, Goodfella, and Feminism, and Dr. Random Cam for uh, taking a look at the video and actually making fun of it. <laughs> so until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. 
And just as you know, yes, I meant to say Ascent Overlord instead of Ancient Overlords. Uh, but keep in mind that I am Puerto Rican and there are still some words that I cannot pronounce properly. Which is why I feel like I should join the Ascent Overlord. And I do hope that I get to speak to uh, Doc Thompson on his radio show. Maybe he and I can set up some you know, meeting so we can talk about how stupid this um, feminist movement is. It, it'd be fantastic. Uh, so that's just a little side note there. So like I said before, uh, see you later.